Yes. Fatti ripetizione. 12. Ok. Progressive Aspetta. overload. Pronto? Yes. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> What's up guys, I'm back again. I hope you enjoyed the intro. As I've been doing lately, I'm gonna start off with a voiceover for the workout and then towards the end, I'll finish with some music. The song I'm gonna play today at the end is actually my friend's band. So if you wanna check them out, I have the link in the description. As you can see here, we're doing some bench press, but if you notice, we're doing something a little bit different. We're actually doing them with a reverse grip. This is much more difficult than a normal grip and it really targets the triceps as well as the inner chest and a bit of shoulders. Something that I find interesting about bodybuilding and weightlifting in general is how a subtle change, a subtle variation can change the exercise completely and target the exact muscle that you want to grow. For this exercise, I kept the whole set to demonstrate how long our sets are. Our time under tension is right around 50 seconds your sets don't have to be quite that long, but it's important to have sets that aren't just 15 to 20 seconds. If you wanna maximize muscle growth, you have to have a, an extended time under tension. Remember that your muscles grow when you tire them out. You have to break down the muscle and then give them adequate time for them to recover so that the muscle rebuilds bigger than before. There are many techniques to effectively work and activate your muscles, but I'd say that one strategy that's pretty much overlooked a lot is variation. When your body gets used to something, you have to present it with a new challenge, a reason for it to continue to grow. You can't just keep doing the same exercise in the same way, with the same weight, the same rep tempo, and expect to continue to grow. The point is to challenge yourself, to not make things easier. This is why I started doing reps really slowly and focusing on controlling the weight, especially during the eccentric part of the exercise, to challenge myself. Because just like most people out there, I'm used to doing reps super quickly, thinking that it makes me look cool. But in fact, you're not challenging yourself as much as you potentially could be if you were controlling the weight and going slower. Anyway, something else that I wanted to talk about is how exercise is not just challenging yourself physically, exercise also challenges you mentally, your mental toughness. You know, how many reps can you do? Can you fight through the burn and maintain your form? Can you stay consistent for more than just a few days? Because if you want real results, results come with consistency, not just a couple sporadic workouts here and there. This is something that I think I learned from a young age from playing sports, learning how to embrace challenges and enjoyment of overcoming obstacles because people that i mean i love working out i i really do but there's some people that, that it's just not their cup of tea they think to themselves i have to work out today ah oh, i have to work out today when really in fact it should be i get to work out because anyone out there that you don't have a physical condition or something like that that you literally can't work out you're blessed because there's a lot of people out there that just aren't as fortunate as you 
and the only thing on their mind is trying to get to 100% health. I mean, like me, when I had my open heart chest surgery back in 2017, and if you don't know about this surgery that I had, go back on my channel. About a year ago, I posted this two-year body transformation video where I documented my, my process of recovering from chest surgery. So basically, for six months, I was cooped up in the bed. And I mean, I'm someone that's used to being super active all the time. And when I was healthy again, I appreciated working out, being able to walk around my neighborhood and do all the just normal things that I never really appreciated before. Speaking of challenges, something new that Paolo just got for his home gym is this pull-up bar slash dip station. And the station isn't bolted down to the ground or anything. So when we do dips, it really shakes like crazy. It's pretty funny looking, honestly, but the good thing is that it actually makes the exercise a bit more challenging because of the lack of stability. Anyways, that's gonna be it for the voiceover. I'm gonna put my favorite song from my friend's band and let it play until I hit that, you know, 10 minute mark for the YouTube algorithm. If you're not already subscribed to my channel and you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel, help me grow, hit that thumbs up button and have a great rest of your day. Peace. Is she dreaming or is she lying?